How many of us can recall that childhood moment when we experienced happiness as a state of being? When everything in our world was all right. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a young psychiatrist called Hector. He took comfort in the rich patterns of his life. Look at my life. Look at my life, my life, my life. Are you happy? You're breaking up with me, aren't you? <laughs> no! You can't no. just come out with a question like that. You I... have to build up to it. I'm not making my patients any happier. I need to do some research. On what? Happiness. Where were you going on this journey of yours? I was thinking China. China. Brilliant. If you're going to do this, do it totally. Business of pleasure. Research. I want to know what makes people happy. <laughs> the glass is unbreakable. Unbreakable? Push. <laughs> Hi, boys. Hey, <laughs> How long will you be gone? I don't know. Will you be here when I get back? And I can't answer the question, can I? More important than what we are searching for is what we are avoiding. Tell me what you want. You just have to decide. <laughs> Darling. You're emotionally squeamish. People who are afraid of loving are afraid of life. The more we focus on our own personal happiness, the more it eludes us. We should concern ourselves not so much with the pursuit of happiness, but with the happiness of pursuit. I'm alive! I want a penis. You mean happiness? Everybody wants. A penis, but you cannot hold a penis. It's elusive.